everyone. So today I'm going to be doing another video with Yes Style. This is showing a lot more K-Beauty, J-Beauty products. I am such a huge fan of Korean beauty products. It's always just something I love to try new products and I definitely got to try a whole bunch of new ones um, from some products that I got to pick out from Yes Style. So thank you Yes Style for sending me more products to review. I love doing these and they are some of my favorite videos to make. So I will definitely have links to all of the products that I am sharing in this video and I do have referral links so if you click on them and purchase I will make a small commission full disclosure but I love a lot of these products and I want to share them with you guys and let you know what I think about them so without further ado we will get started and I will share all of these new products with you all right so the first product I got is a face product this one is from Holika Holika it's called the Holly Pop BB Cream Glow and the price of this one when I purchased it was $6.65 I got this one in the shade number three glow so this is just supposed to be like a glowy BB cream type product so I did end up getting two different BB creams and I kind of used them together but I will show you guys how this applied for me and what I think about it to the back of my hand here it actually looks like a pretty good color match for me um, now when I'm first looking at it, it doesn't look like extremely glowy or anything but I'm going to apply it with a sponge and I want to see just exactly what kind of finish it gives me put a little bit on my face and I'm going to start patting this in okay so I went very light for that first layer just to kind of see how it would build up I'm gonna do just a tiny bit more just to kind of see the coverage because I do think I'm going to test out the other BB cream as well um, but I just used a tiny tiny bit on my face and I feel like it definitely gave me a really like natural kind of look it's not overly cakey or so high coverage to the point where it really just like blocks everything out you can definitely still see a little bit of my natural like little redness in my skin kind of peeking peeking through just a little bit without it just completely masking it but it overall just gives my face like a more more even and balanced kind of color tone I do see just a little bit of that kind of glowiness that they're saying but I do have to say it's much more less intense than I thought it was going to be but overall I think this is a really good color choice for me as well and it feels actually really comfortable it doesn't feel thick or cakey it just kind of feels like just a nice light coverage of foundation on my skin without it being too over the top I feel like the color for this one is pretty good for my skin tone it does have a slight bit of that glowiness to it without it having like really shimmery or shininess I thought that was gonna be more of what it was like but it really just kind of has a little bit more of like a moisturized kind of hydrated look on the skin I would definitely say that this BB cream it leans a little bit more towards the, like the light natural side as far as how heavy or um, full coverage it is it definitely took about two full coats for it to even really like build up on my skin super evenly so I do like this one for more of a lighter day but I think from the day to day I would typically go for something a little bit heavier but I will move on to the next product because I think I like this one just a little bit more so this one is from the brand Purito I had never heard of this brand before and this one's called the Sika clearing BB cream and I love the packaging of it it just looks so nice and like minimal almost a little bit like medical or medicinal or something I don't know why but I just like it so I got the one in number 21 light beige and the price of this one was 916 when I purchased it Ooh, this is almost like a little bit more darker and almost a little bit grayer I feel like they are much more like my kind of color like even on my hand it looks super gray but there's just something about it that looks so good on my skin so I'm just gonna do one little tap and of course it's kind of hard to tell exactly how this is going to behave um rather than if I had tried it on its own but I really just kind of wanted to try both of these just to get an idea of like what it would be like now this one almost does have a little bit of a scent to it again it's not crazy intense it almost smells just a little bit more like a added fragrance not necessarily just like the scent that the product happened to be but it almost has like a little bit of like a sunscreeny smell nothing super intense at all but very very subtle but I do like this one as well I feel like I really will like this one on its own I think just my very first impression between the two of these which one I would like a little bit more is probably this one just purely based on the color tone of it was a little bit better for me this one again I feel like it doesn't look crazy but it does lean slightly more like that yellowy warmer color that I usually find with like Western makeup brands and this one's much more of like that almost gray neutral kind of BB cream that I associate with like Eastern Asian beauty products and stuff like that so for me just like purely based on the first 
first um, impression, I would have to say this one is more of my favorite. So really quickly, I just wanted to mention this one. I did use this bronzer. This was from my last Yes Style video. This one was from Too Cool for School, and it's the Art Class bronzer, and it looks like this. So I wanted to use that one, and I will have it linked below. So that's what bronzer I used. And then the next product was the actual blush. That was a new product. This one is from Apu, and this one is called the Juicy Pong Blusher. I love how this one looks. It's so adorable. I love the glass packaging of it. It just looks so sleek. It does look like a little nail polish, but it is actually a liquid blush, and it's just so adorable, and they have so many different colors of this one, like so, so many. I can't believe they have as many as they do, but mine is in the color Strawberry, and I really like this one, and the price of this one was $6.76. Okay, I'm not so sure like how intense this blush is gonna be. I'm gonna test a little bit of it on the back of my hand. So this is what the swatch color looks like. Now I'm blending it in just to kind of see like, kind of gauge the strength of the blush. And I can kind of tell this is definitely a little bit more on the lighter sheer side. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm gonna dot a couple little spots on my cheek. I don't wanna go like crazy over the top. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly start building that color up and blending it out and I feel like this one you definitely have a little bit of time to work with it and it's not going to just set instantly on your cheeks or be so crazily intense that you feel like you have to blend it really quick so with that first layer I feel like it really is so light I need to do more to get more of that color on there so I'm going to just build it up keep doing little by little and work on blending it up that way and I can definitely see the color a lot more with that second pass. So it's very subtle. This is definitely one you can build up quite a bit more if you want that more intense look. You, of course, could use your finger as well. I'll do one little application on this side with just my finger. I feel like I don't love doing this with my finger, but I feel like it kind of does offer a little bit more coverage from that first application. So there's definitely different ways to do it. You can use your finger, you can use a blush brush, um, a stippling brush, you could use a sponge. It's really however you like it, but I definitely think, at least with my finger, you can get a little bit more coverage um, from that first go. I would still build this up just a little bit more. So overall, I have to say this one is a great beginner blush product if you want to get into liquid blushes because it's so lightly pigmented. You really have room to build it up, and I'm always someone who likes to build up products rather than having it crazy intense right away where I feel like I can't blend it or I'm stuck with like a <laughs> little blush patch on my face. This is so great for beginners. It smells really good. It doesn't have a super overwhelming scent though. Like once it's on my face, I can't really smell it. But overall, I feel like it's really cute um, and a easy beginner friendly product. And then really quickly, another shout out. This was from my last Yes Style video, but this is what I was using is from the SEM. It's the Luminous Multi Highlighter. That is the highlighter that I have on today. Again, I will have that link below. And the next product, I was so excited to pick out this. I am, I have to say, I love, I love. You already know I love this. So this is from the brand Coringo. I have never heard of this brand before, but this is so adorable. This is called the Shabam Shabam Eyeshadow Bar Palette. I love the packaging of this. It's so cute and so simple and so like travel friendly, which is something I really love. That's very important to me, but it's so cute. You get six eyeshadows in here. You get three mattes and three shimmers. I used all six of these eyeshadows on my eyes today, and I have to say I love love this. So I'm going to get into the application portion and then I will come back and tell you more about my thoughts. First color I think I want to use, I want to start with this little um, matte kind of like skin tone color one for me. I feel like that would be a really good um, starter for my crease. So I'm just going to start. I've already applied a little bit of uh, eyeshadow primer to my eyes and I'm just going to start by applying that and blending it in. Wow, that color is actually a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. Okay, and then I picked up a little bit of that one and start apply that one. I love that color. It's so pigmented. I'm really impressed with the pigmentation of this one. Um, this palette, rather. It's just so really pretty. I feel like sometimes the colors can be a little bit more muted and softer, but I feel like I'm really getting some full-on color with these, and I love it. I love it a lot. Okay, I'm going to go back with that same color. I'm just going to switch to a different brush. This one is a um, smaller, more precise kind of brush, and I'm just going to run that on the lower part of my lash line and bring that inward just to bring that color down. Okay, and finally, I want to move on to the matte color here, that darkest one, just to deepen up the crease, and then we're gonna add some of those shimmer colors. Just love, love using the shimmer colors to really like set off a look. I mean, all matte looks can be really pretty too, but there's something about shimmer that just, oh, it just steals my heart. So I'm gonna take that darker matte color and I'm just defining the crease a little bit more. I'm really wanting to blend this in. I don't want it to be super harsh. 
and I just kind of want it to be like really soft and blown out. Again, switching back to that smaller brush, that, taking that dark brown, and just running that on the lower outer part of my lash line. I feel like I want to start off with this orangey one here. I want to kind of see what the color of that one's going to be like, and I want to focus that mainly on the inner portion here, and just kind of blend that in. Then I also want to take just a little bit of that and bring it more towards the inner corner just to bring some of that shimmer there as well. Now I want to take this shimmer here. This one's a little bit more of like that peachy pink and it looks like it might be a little bit more chunky, but it also looks like it has a tiny bit of like micro shimmer in it. So I just want to focus that mainly on the lid here. Oh, I love how that looks. Okay, and finally, I've already used every other color. I got to use this one too. So this one's a bit more of like a bronzy copper kind of color. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and I'm going to put that mainly on that outer portion and just kind of bring that into where it meets the middle. Oh my gosh, I love how that looks. Okay, and finally I want to take just a little bit more of that pinker one and just run that on the lower lash line and blend that inward. Okay, so that is how the eyes look with just the eyeshadow. I have to say, I'm not just saying this, this has to be my favorite Korean eyeshadow palette I have ever used. I feel like that was so beautiful. I love how the look turned out. Okay, so I have to say this is hands down the best Korean eyeshadow product I have ever used. There are a lot that I have tried that are beautiful and that are really good, but they are just not as pigmented as I typically like, and I feel like that's just something that's very common with a lot of, um... Korean beauty eyeshadows they typically like more like washes of color and light and nothing like super crazy intense but this I feel like worked beautifully I love it I do also love the Mimi box one the I'm cube Mimi this one is actually kind of similar if I compare the colors so you can see the two colors are very similar the only difference is as I feel like the actual colors are not there's not really crossover except for that color right here the matte brown and then a little bit of this uh these two colors here. I feel like this one's more pinky though. This top one's more pinky and this one's a little bit more neutral. But overall, I do think I like this one a little bit more and it was less expensive. They do have a few different color options from this palette, but I love it. I have to say I'm very, very impressed with it. I do like this one as well. I still love that one too. But this one just really performed beautifully on my eyes. I love the blend of it. This it's just gorgeous. I love it. And I was so impressed with the pigmentation of this that I just was so blown away. So I love this. This might be my star product from this haul. Just saying it now. I love this one. I forgot to mention that the color of this one was number two Shy Night and the price of this one was $14.31. All right. And the next eye product I was super excited to try. I love Korean glitter eyeshadows. They are some of the best and they are so much less expensive compared to like Stila and all the other brands that have these like really pretty eye topper cream shadows. So this is from the brand McQueen. It's called the Jewel Potent Eye Glitter and I got it in number one Kitten Diamond. So very, very similar to the Stila Kit color but this is absolutely gorgeous the price of this one was $5.96 so I'm gonna take just a little bit of this it has a small doe flit applicator and I'm just going to apply it to the center portion of my lid just to add a little bit more of that sparkle okay I gave that just a few seconds to dry I really love that extra pop of that gold glitter it's so so gorgeous and it worked perfectly with those eyeshadow colors like I just I couldn't be happier it's so pretty and they do have a few more color options of these as well I really really love these and I just I can never get enough of the Korean gl cream glitter shadows they are just some of the best and they're so much more affordable than Stila the next product was an eyeliner this is also from the brand McQueen this is called the waterproof pen eyeliner they have three different colors of it but I got number one deep black and this is just a pen liquid eyeliner and it is like one of those little brush tip eyeliners so it's not felt tip it's definitely a brush tip and those are my absolute favorite I'm going to just apply this and I can't talk and do this at the same time I apologize okay that was super easy to do I'm going to give that just a second to dry before I do the wing it reminds me a lot of that Misha natural fix brush liner that I love it reminds me just like that oh that was so easy oh I love this one yeah, I love this one so far. It's so easy, so smooth. It went on really black, so easy to use. So I really hope this one wears really well because this is a really, really good one. And I I really like this one. Can't wait to see how it wears. I have had this makeup on for about an hour already and it seems like it's holding up pretty well. I can't wait to see how it lasts through the rest of the day. But so far, my very first impression, this is really good. It's nice and juicy. It wasn't dry or anything. So, so far. I really like this one as well. Set of eyelashes. It has such a long name, I can't get it out. Amio Thick 
false eyelash fashion sweetie dolly girl new fashion <laughs> so that's the name of this um, it's a set of five and it was 441 so it's less than a dollar for a pair um, these are just ones I feel like really look nice on my eyes they're not crazy intense um, and I thought that these would be really pretty so I got a set of these so I'm gonna apply these and show you guys what they look like okay and so this is how it looks with the eyelashes I think these are really pretty and I think that they're great everyday type lashes now I do have to say the band of them is a little bit thicker so it's a little bit harder to conceal if you're not doing like a thick winged liner and stuff like that but I think that these look really pretty um, and I like that they're a little bit more simple but overall I do like these I feel like they're very pretty they're not crazy intense I feel like these are perfect everyday kind of false lashes where you don't look like you're you know glam to the gods but you know it still looks just a little bit more fancy so I actually really like these and I love that you get five pairs for less than five dollars so that's really good and the final product is a lip product this is from Perry pair this is one of the ink velvet lips and I got mine in the color number nine sparkling pink and the price of this one was $8.91 I will get into the application portion now this one ooh, it has a really nice smell to it okay I'm gonna apply that oh it's like thick and moussey and like whipped super pigmented it's almost like a like a whipped cloud and that is what the color looks like. This one is so pretty. I love the texture of it. It's so soft and plush and like cushy on the lips. It's very comfortable. I want to see how it dries down. I've only had it on for my lips for just a couple seconds, but the coverage of it is like completely full coverage. Like you're, it, this is not like a stain or anything. This is like a cream lip color and full color. Very pretty. It does have a little bit of a scent to it. A little bit fruity, but like not quite just like a straight up fruity scent. But I love how this color looks. It's very like springy and summery for me. And I don't know, I don't wear like crazy bright colors like this all the time. But when I do, I just, it makes me feel like so happy and so like youthful. And I just, I love this. So this one is really pigmented with how it applies. I love these. They have so many colors of these as well and it's so comfortable on the lips. So thank you again to YesStyle for sending me all these products to review. I love these types of videos and I think you guys do too. So I really hope you guys found some helpful tips or tricks or product recommendations. Like I said, I do have these products all linked below. They are referral links. So if you purchase anything from these links, I do make a small commission and I greatly, greatly appreciate any of your support. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.